Hello and welcome back to Daily Direction. Moving into part two, we're going to be looking at this play pulse button. So let's jump straight into Webflow. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in our first div. We're going to call this play parent one. We're going to give this a width of 45 pixels, height of 45 pixels. We're going to set this to flex center center. We're going to make sure this is on relative, and that is the first bit. We're going to drop in a second div inside of this one, and we're going to call this circle back two. Again, we're going to give it 45 pixels, 45 pixels. We're going to also put this on flex. Probably actually don't need flex on that one. Um, we're going to set the position to absolute. We're going to put the Z index to zero. We're going to put a background color on it. We're going to bring up the border radius to around 120. And then we can move on to the next bit, which we will drop another div in. And we will call this circle front two. Again, you would have guessed it, 45 pixels, 45 pixels, put it on flex, center, center. We also want to put this on absolute. We want to bump the Z index on this one up to one, so it's actually in sitting in front of that other layer. And then we're going to change the background to black and also do the border radius to 120. The next bit is just to drop that image inside of the button and just bring it down give it a quick class I'm just going to touch it over a couple of pixels it just wasn't in the center now it's bang in the center we're going to go to the body we're going to do a page load we're going to start the animation we're going to click here we're going to go zero to play p then we're going to go to the layers panel, we're going to get the circle back, we're going to do a scale. And then what we're going to do with the scale is we're going to set that to the initial state, we're going to put it on 1. Now there's actually something really interesting here. When I first originally built the pulsing animation out, I did it with um, size. So I actually clicked here and I did it by size. And what I actually found that with the scale property, the animation was a lot smoother, a lot, lot smoother. So it Again, maybe just try and play around with, if you're trying to increase animations by size, maybe try it by scale. Um, it really does work a lot better. So, uh, let's go to the scale again, and let's do it at 2. Then we're also going to do an opacity. We're going to keep it on 100%, and then we're going to do opacity on 0%. What we want to do is we really want to slow these down, so it's bringing that animation to a real nice kind of flutter. And we'll put it at like 1.5. We're also going to do an ease. And let's just check that. Lovely. Looks great. So what we need to do now is we need to just reset these back to the beginning. So we're going to go back to the scale. We're going to set it on 1. We're also going to get rid of the duration. We need this to happen as quickly as possible before it re-triggers again. And then we're going to do an opacity. And we're going to do back to 100% and we should be good. So let's have a look. Oh, no, I forgot one thing. Just need to select this button to put it on loop. And there we go. That is how you create this really nice pulsating play button. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.